Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Tuesday's meditation. Um, Jill here at Vitalia Strongsville. And um, today we are going to take a little different approach, um, I think. We're going to come into a more personable sense of how we're feeling maybe at this moment. So um, last week we talked about um, the weather getting cold, right? And we got a little warm or we allowed ourselves to warm up from that. Um, and today we're going to talk about maybe the other side of the holidays, the feeling um, of being overwhelmed, the feeling of, you know, thinking you have to do all of these things or get all these things done and get your decorations up and send out, you know, all these Christmas cards and buy gifts for everybody. And sometimes it can become a lot. And we feel this extra pressure. We feel this, like, heaviness on our physical bodies and sometimes on our minds as well because there's just so much to do and so much to get done and so much to remember um, i know i'm feeling that <laughs> here at at work um, you know why we we're celebrating it's also all of these other things where we feel a lot of pressure so um we're going to bring that into our meditation today and try to get rid of it try to feel a little bit of freedom from all of those holiday pressures, um, or we might even be feeling, you know, that other side. A lot of people um, consider the holidays as a time of joy and happiness, but for others, it might be a time where we feel sadness um, or loneliness. So there's, there's lots of sides to different things. So uh, we'll start today, of course, by warming up the body, getting things going. And um, because of all the pressure of writing and gift wrapping, we're going to work on the hands today. Okay, so sit up nice and tall in your chair. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And let's, of course, start with those good old breaths. So inhale. Let your lungs fill all the way up. And then exhale slowly. Empty it out. Good. Breathe in. Lungs fill, breathe out, belly expands. Good, inhale. Take your time breathing all the way in and then exhale slowly, let all that air go. Good, breathe in, calming the mind, calming the body. And breathe out slow. Good. Let's take two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Give it all you got. Breathe in. And breathe out. Continue breathing at your normal pace. We're going to bring the hands up in front of us. So squinch your fingers together, kind of like you were saluting. So fingers really close, and then open the fingers as wide as you can. Let's feel the webbing between each finger as you spread them wide. Go ahead, bring them in and take them out. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Make room for those fingers. Breathe out. You know, we get a lot of arthritis. It tends to act up a little more when it's cold. And also when we're using those hands a little more. Good. Two more times. Open and close and open and close. Good. We're going to open those fingers wide and then we're going to scrunch them in, make a fist. Don't forget to bend your thumbs. Good. Open and make a fist. Expand. Draw it in. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Good. 
good. One more time. Big hands, fists. All right, open those fingers back up and give them a little wiggle. All right, the next um, exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do one finger at a time to make sure we're really bending the joint. So we'll start with the thumb. So take those thumbs in, and thumbs out. Thumbs in, thumbs out. Really feel where the stretch is coming from. If you're feeling it through here, maybe you're feeling it in through here as you open it up. Good, in and open. You'll also notice which fingers have more arthritis in them than the others, <laughs> which are more sore or tight. Good, one more time with the thumb. Good, and then the first finger, bend it down and open. And if some other fingers come down with it, that's okay too. But try to focus just on that first finger. You know, all those muscles in the finger from the tip of the finger through the palm of the hand, then into the wrist and the forearm, that's all connected. All right, one more time with that first finger. <laughs> All right, let's move to the middle finger. Bend it down and up. I'm pretty feeling a pretty big stretch through my forearms when I'm bringing my fingers down. I don't know if any of you are. Yeah. All right, one more time with that middle finger and ring finger. This one's a little harder to bring down just by itself. Bring it down and open it up. Good, ring, ring, ring. <laughs> All right, good job. One more time with that ring finger. And then the hardest one, that pinky. Bring it in. Some other fingers may follow, that's okay. My ring finger's coming with me. Try to focus on the pinky. Good job, one more time. All right, let's shake those hands out. And then let's intertwine the fingers together and then push the palms forward. So really stretch the palms and the hands here. Good, and then bring the hands in and push them back out. Bring them in and press in and press in and press one more time good job bring the hands up and let's just circle those wrists another direction All right, good job. How do the hands feel? Do they feel a little looser? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. So um, anytime, any day, this is an easy exercise to do. You can do it when you're watching TV. If your hands feel tight and tense, just do some finger movements. Again, this will help with your joints. It'll help with your arthritis. If you don't move it, you lose it. So remember that. Easy exercises to do anytime. Um, sometimes they sell those little foamy little balls. Um, I think for my residents um, during heart health week, we gave you those little squishy hearts. Um, so those are good things to do too, just to squeeze the balls in your hands. And um, that will give you a, that same like resistance with the fingers. So lots of exercise to keep those hands healthy. All right, let's relax the body. So bring your hands down. 
Let them rest on your chair or on your lap. You can lose that perfect posture and start to sink down in your chair as we start our meditation practice. Let your eyes close. Close your eyes and feel the eyelids touching. Feel the front of the eyelids starting to relax. So don't crunch your eyes. Don't make those wrinkles. Just let them gently close and feel the eyelids covering the eyes. And take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. With your eyes closed, begin to see absolutely nothing. Just see the blackness or the darkness in front of you. And then start to think of all the things that you need to do this holiday season. Maybe you're a last minute shopper and you have to still get out and, and buy gifts. Maybe you have hundreds of friends and family and you got to get all of these Christmas cards out, written out, addressed, sent in the mail. Maybe there's lots of parties to attend. Maybe you just want to make it a point to come to all of the holiday activities here in your community. As you begin to feel all of these things that you have to do or all these pressures that you might feel yourself um, struggling to find time for or the energy for. Starting with the top of the head, begin to feel pressure. Imagine maybe someone pushing down on the top of your head or you have a really tight hat on. And you start to feel some heaviness there on the head. You feel that same heaviness starting to come down over the ears, the back of the head and the neck. You feel some pressure or heaviness. You continue to feel that heaviness down into the shoulders, like there's bricks sitting on your shoulders or a heavy sandbag. Coming into the sides of your body, feel around your arms and your back and your chest, almost as if someone were embracing you very tightly. Feel as if you're being squeezed. And from the top of the head to the bottom of your torso, feel that whole area of your body just embraced with that heaviness. Embraced with that weight. Whether it's physical weight or emotional weight. Just feel the body heavy here. And then all the parts of your body that you feel this heaviness begin to visualize 
the things that are causing this heaviness. Maybe at the top of the head, you see your family. We all have some family members that you know, we might not get along with, or they cause trouble, or they're full of drama, and we just, ugh. Just hard to deal with during the holidays. See whatever it is that's causing that heaviness in the head. Visualize it. See the people, see the places, see the things. And continue that visualization as you move down into the ears and in the neck and in the shoulders, back, chest. See all the things that you're holding heavy. the crowds, the traffic, the baking and the cooking that you have to do. These aren't all necessarily all bad things, it's just things that we have to get through, that we have to breathe through during the holidays. Maybe we feel in our chest, in our heart space, the heaviness of the people who we've lost, who will not be there for the holidays. So feel that heaviness and visualize what's causing the heaviness throughout the body. Feel everything constricting you, holding you in, squeezing the body. And we'll slowly start to let go of all of these things one by one. Starting at the crown of the head, we'll start to envision joy with the things that are bringing goodness into the season. You picture your grandchildren or great grandchildren running around, opening presents. Maybe you see everyone laughing with a glass of wine at the dinner table. Maybe you can visualize all of the people that you send cards to opening their cards and, and feeling the love that you sent them, even though it was treacherous writing all those cards out and getting them in the mail. So one by one, Feel the weight lift from the head as you think of something that's joyful. Feel the weight lift from the neck as you picture moments of happiness. Feel the weight leave the shoulders as you see yourself in these moments of love. You feel the weight from your chest as you begin to see all of the good memories of the past that make up for those feelings of sadness Feel the weight leaving the back of the body. As you think of all of the delicious food, and drink and desserts that you get to enjoy and share with your family and with your friends. 
maybe even strangers. And now begin to feel the upper body light. Feel the head light as a feather as all that weight has been lifted. Feel the neck loose like a bobblehead as all that weight has left. Feel the shoulders loose and light with no pressure and no strain. Feel the chest and the back open and expansive as you breathe into the chest and into the back of the body. And feel that sense of lightness. Allow the body and the mind to feel light. The whole body is light and rid of that heaviness that we may have been feeling earlier. Feel for a moment as if the upper body were just kind of floating in this space. Like a balloon tied down to the ground, just kind of hovering. Bring your awareness to your breath. Breathing into that light space and breathing out slowly. Begin to slowly awaken as you wiggle your fingers again, feeling that lightness in the hands now that we've allowed all of that tightness and tension to be released. Give your head a little rock from side to side, feeling the lightness in the neck. Letting go of all the stress. And then slowly come back to that seated position in your chair and open the eyes. Let the eyes gently open. And take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. I hope that your body and mind feel lighter. I know that sometimes it's hard in any situation, whether it's the holidays or not. Um, maybe we are feeling um, just the heaviness from everyday life, the struggles that we go through, um, maybe with our health, uh, maybe with our families, maybe with just the world in general. So know that we can always turn inward. We can feel the heaviness. We can embrace the heaviness. And then we can also let it go. With a little bit of practice, we all can feel that uh, in the body and in the mind. Sometimes it might take a moment to be able to let it go. It's one of the hardest lessons in life is to let things go, but it is a practice and it is possible. So anytime you're feeling that stress, again, whether it's for the holidays or just waking up and <laughs> we feel the stress of maybe, you know, the, the gloominess outside or the snow that's coming down. And uh, we turn it around, we feel it, we allow ourselves to feel it, and then we also allow ourselves to, to breathe it away, um, to think of joy 
in the moment. The snow might be not a good thing to drive in, or we might feel cold, but the joyfulness in it is that it's really beautiful to look at. So always find joy, always breathe away the stress, and know that um, we can get through anything. So thank you all for joining me today. Please don't let the heaviness of the holidays weigh you down too much. And when it does, take this moment to, to breathe and to be present. Thank you all for joining me today here in my space and um, at Arrow. Um, we love seeing you every single week. We thank you for being here and we hope that you continue to practice throughout the week. Have a wonderful day, stress-free. See you next week. Okay.